Hey everyone, here we are in the world of Lightroom. I have this image I took a couple days ago. All right, we're gonna do a couple minor adjustments just to make sure the image is composed correctly and it's gonna work. And if it doesn't work as a regular image or a black and white, it's not gonna work as a color image. So I'm kind of happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my color profiles, camera profiles. All right, what that does, it allows your white balance to be set lower than what Lightroom allows you by default. Okay, and what I'm gonna do here is, I got some nice blues, everything else is like an orange, yellow, mustard color. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the vibrance up. Go into my yellows and I'm gonna bring the luminance down. I want that nice and dark. Now this is my workflow, it doesn't have to be yours. My blues and cyans, I'm gonna bring the saturation up. Okay, now I'm happy with this image. Maybe the exposure down a bit. Highlights, bring the blacks down. I like a dark image. We're gonna take this image and bring it over into Photoshop. My computer takes a second, so I will be right back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a an action. Okay, I have a couple actions here already. I'm gonna delete this action here. So I created a folder, infrared Canon T6. I'm gonna go ahead and create the action. Infrared camera T6, we're gonna change it to full color swap. So now it's recording. Everything I do now is going to be recorded as an action, okay? Create an adjustment layer, and this is going to be a channel mixer. I'm going to take the red channel, and basically we're just going to swap the, the reds and the blues. So the reds in the red channel go down to a, a zero, and the blues go up to a hundred. See that little effect already? Now we're going to go into the blue channel, and we're going to swap these out. Red goes up to a hundred. And blues come down to zero. All right, now we're gonna create another uh, another layer here, an adjustment layer. This is gonna be a hue saturation. Now what do I have here? I have a lot of cyans, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take the cyans and I like a dark photo, so I'm gonna bring those cyans nice and dark. All right, bring the saturation up just so you can see it, but I don't like that cyan color. I'm gonna go for a blue color. Purplish blue, I like that. Sky darkened up nicely, the water's nice and dark but the trees and the foliage still have that color. We're gonna go into the yellows. On my previous photo, I left it at yellow, but let's just go and let's go a little weird. Magenta, get the reds and turn that to a magenta. And I think we have a little bit of green in there. So we're gonna go ahead and change that to a magenta. Our blues, we have a lot of blue there. We'll bring that down a bit. But I'm going to bring the saturation down. All right, this is just my workflow. It doesn't have to be the way you do it. At this point, you can end the image. We're going to go ahead and stop the action. So now every time I, I get a photo, I want to try this action. I could just go down here to full color, color swap and hit the play button and it's the image it'll give me. So let's try that out. You still have it? Yes. We're gonna delete these layers. Okay, we have that image the way it was before. Click on the action, full color swap, hit play, and everything I just did. It's a quick action, you don't have to go through all that color swapping. And dodge and burn. Oh, excuse me, sorry about that. dodging the sky a little bit, or I'm sorry, burning the sky a bit. Let's get that flow up here. Let's darken that water a bit. Okay, but I want that reflection, so I'm gonna create another curves adjustment layer. And this time we're gonna bring the curves up. Control I to invert and our brush set to eight 
nice soft round brush and we're just going to paint where we want the reflection highlighted. So before, after, before, after. So I'm not going to go too far into the dodge and burn because I could take four hours doing this. So at this point, <clears throat> I like to mess around with a photo filter adjustment layer. This was a sunrise picture, the sun was to camera left. So I want some yellow golden light on here. So that warming filter gives me a nice yellow light. I'm satisfied with this. Again, with my previous image, I burned all the holes in the water. I dodged, I also created a blur adjustment layer to blur the water out to give it that long exposure look. Save this into Lightroom. We're going to open it back up. So the difference between this image I'm working on today and the one that took me a few hours. See I added a lot of the blues. It's a lot of creativity going on here. You just you do what you see, what you want, what your mind sees. We go back here and we can go ahead and change in Lightroom as well. Clarity, get it nice and crisp. Don't bring it up all the way, please. Your computer will explode. Now I could do all of this in Photoshop, but I work in both and I'm happy working in both. And that's it. Aside from motion blur, um, dodging and burning for that three-dimensional look, sharpening in certain areas, unsharp mask in, in Photoshop, besides those extra steps, this is a way to convert your infrared images from camera to a final image. Let's try one more. Oh, this one, I didn't work on this one. Uh, this is very simple, it's just at the end of a lake. There are a couple boats there and the foliage is nice and blue. Um, I already went and changed the camera settings to infrared minus 50. Get some contrast. Those highlights, vibrance up and let's get those blues nice and saturated. It's too bright, so I'm going to darken it a bit, bring the exposure down, highlights it, bring some of the shadows up. I'm going to bring this into Photoshop. Now, if you see here, these are all the images that I took to make three images, okay? you got to play around and see what works. Cyan's, <coughs> excuse me, darker. Let's pop those reds. filter on there and let's go with a cooling filter. It's not a great photo. Um, I just saw the foliage there. I thought, let me, let me give it a shot. It doesn't work for me, but this is what infrared photography is. You have to look for those spots. Like I said, the foliage, you see how these leaves, they just pop. And 
once in a while you'll get a good photo that will work this one I didn't have much foliage I still liked it I went ahead and created this one this was at the foot of the Verrazano bridge on the Staten Island side the sun was shining on this tree here but not enough to get that color so I went ahead and muted that color and I gave everything else a nice little blue hue it was cyan I changed it into a blue hue I just thought it was interesting convert it into a black and white or bring some more of those blues out it's up to your imagination have fun with it guys